tell me. should because you don't know what kind of fruit loops come walking into a place like this. You know what I mean? The cameras in the building, but there's none in this room. Oh, okay. So anyway, how, how is everything with you? Anything new? Uh, no, just a lot of doctor appointments. Yeah? Yeah. Are you having health, physical health problems or just more like Um, I got a GI, I got a colonoscopy coming up That's always fun. Have you next had week. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've had two of them yeah, and they're also doing a one of these as well yeah they're doing that um urologist the following week i gotta do and the dermatologist so i got it is a bit yeah um the urology thing is that anything specific or um you know uh in my medical records i've always had problems with my prostate for a number of years so probably going to want to do blood check to check the PSA. Right. Of course, get the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that. The digital exam. Digital exam. Re- uh, a euphemism. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> we'll see how it's... We'll see how that's doing. Um, colonoscopy. Uh, mainly that was brought on because of hemorrhoids, hemorrhoid problems. Yeah. So they're going to want to take a look what's going on. And, of course, I got something going on in my stomach. Girds, maybe. Therefore, this way. Yeah, they're gonna go take a look. Other than that, it's really about all. Just taking my taking my meds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Trying to keep calm, which yeah. I'm doing pretty well. Good. Keeping calm. So yeah, last time you were talking about progress that you had made in at least two ways as far as staying calm. One when driving, and then uh, also you know you had almost gotten into something with a veteran outside here in the hallway, but it, you were able to defuse it. Yeah. That was good. So, um, um, yeah. I tried a, another, um, uh, the American Legion, which, uh, they had a, another group thing, so I decided to go in and sit on that, and it's basically, it was just a beer party, you know what oh, I really? mean? Yeah. And only one of those guys uh, was a veteran uh-huh. from, uh, I think, from Vietnam, the rest of them were all peacetime, and yeah, so that didn't really, we really didn't compound the problem what what we're going to do about, you know. Mm-hmm. And basically, none of those guys have post-traumatic stress, though. So. What was the point of the group supposed to be, as far as you um, They were there to talk about VA stuff and group therapies, mm-hmm. but none of these guys, I think it was just maybe a beer, I think it was just beer, yeah. a beer bong party, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, so. Yeah. I assume there was no actually alcohol served, or was there? Oh, the, it's, it's American Legion Hall. Uh, You've got alcohol everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. You know, so basically I kind of sat there for about an yeah. hour and then left because I don't drink. And right, right, right. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so that kind of sort of really, yeah, I was kind of funny. I was like, oh, okay, well. Um, I said, well, have your beer, guys. I'll yeah. see you, right. you know, see you next time. Yeah. So. But meanwhile, you didn't. You still didn't want to try the one here, right, with Doctor Lowe? No, because that is a true treatment group with PTSD. And but again, I've sat into a number of them before, and all these guys do is talk about the war stories. And you know, who wants to, who wants to sit through? Yeah, my buddy got blown up by an IED. Oh, I lost three friends, or I shot this twelve-year-old with a sniper and rifle. Who wants to listen to that? You know, I mean, I go, I want to go in there, you know, with a positive, you know, with a positive energy, and then I end up walking out being worse. Mm. You know, I go in there going, all right, we're going to go and talk to these guys. And right. When I walk out of there, and I'm like, Jesus, you know, I'm like, really? You know, and, and I would bring up, I would bring up saying, listen. <laughs> Let's stop with the war stories. Mm-hmm. Let's stop talking about the bullets, the bombs, the blood. Right. 
let's talk about what we're going to do about it. Yes. That Instead, should they... Be the point. That should yeah. be the goal. Yeah. And that's like, you know, and they're like, well, we're here to everybody to express their feelings and how they feel and why. And I said, we all know why we're here. We all know, we're all, I said, we're, we all know why we're here. It's, it's, it's what is the last group I told him. says, you all know. This guy right here lost two friends. This guy had to shoot somebody. The, you know, I saw a bus get blown up. I mean, we all know why we're here, so we don't have to go through that material again. You know, let's move on to state, you know, let's go on to act two. Yeah, right. And, you know, in the last, like, ten minutes, well... I'll see you guys next time, and blah, blah. I'm like, wow, really? We spent an hour talking about this guy putting limbs inside of a, of a poncho liner in Vietnam. I'm like, really? So I walked out of there, and I was like, I said, damn, now I want to put a, a gun to my own head, you know? It was just, wow. I was like, holy cow. And that's what... And that's what I'm, why I'm, I try to avoid these groups, because that's all they do. And, and some doctors might think, well, that's not the case. And some might say, well, he kind of has a point. <laughs> so mean, it's kind of like a middle road here. You definitely have a point. I haven't been to the groups myself. I do know that they should be moving beyond that. And, into, and you know, ideally, that is the goal move beyond that and into like you said well, what are we doing about it now how are we living our life how are we making the best you know of our life so maybe it's maybe from what i'm hearing a comp- if you were even open to it at all a completely different kind of group that's not even a ptsd group but you know that's not even necessarily a therapeutic group but that's more something like either mindfulness or i don't know something positive like you're saying something positive that you can focus on you know i don't, I don't know what that might be but um you know, the Zen, the center of the world kind of thinking. Yeah, the, yeah there, there, is a mindfulness, kind of, there is a mindfulness group here. I don't know if that's something that you might be interested in. You know, but I, I, don't, believe in, I, I don't believe in the Zen, let it flow, and these guys do yoga and meditation. Come on. That is, the, the, the meditation and the yoga stuff is mainly for individuals who's not seen such horrific stuff. I mean, we got a yoga place just no more than a block away from my house. Okay. I go walking in there, and I just wanted to sit down. They allowed, and I sat down and watched, and every one of them was millennial, kind of uh, '60s hippies. I don't need a job. I got my mom and dad's money. Kind of thinking. None of these people has. And and I sat there and watched them, and I like how how can a troubled mind that's been hardened by the realities of war and other things? It doesn't necessarily mean war. They can right. be sexually abused. Sure. They can, yeah, you know, all this other stuff. Yeah. And often both, by the way. It, which is true. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I truly understand it because you can get PTSD from almost anything if it's, you know, if it's bad enough. But when I sat in with this group, that's all they're doing is like this and oh, and the positive thinking. And I'm like, how can it's try to have that positive thinking when you got this little dark spot right here or somewhere? You know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's always gnawing at you. And you try to remain and try to do this flow of Zen. And I, and I watch them. And to me, I think the yoga stuff and the Zen stuff is mainly for the privileged or the people that has never had to experience such things. And, and, I'm, you know, and I'm not shooting down your guys' groups and stuff. I'm not doing that. But this is from what I see. And I understand what you're saying, and I think a lot of definitely enough people that's involved, of course. I do know, just again, I haven't been to the group myself. Yeah. The okay. yoga instructor that is at West LA, and then I hear she's also here some of the time, has been highly, highly recommended by other veterans that I've talked to. Um, and you know, you're doing it with other veterans. So I don't know what the approach they use there, but again, you are doing it with a different group of people who have been through some of the things that you've been through. Um, so I just wanted to say, say that because it was highly recommended by other veterans. So I don't, again, I don't know what approach to use 
You have but much I, I, people. Yeah, we'll each his own, right? So it's I, true. I, I, I just want to offer. Yeah, I know, but I can't stand there and. Do, I mean, come on! I'm a 55 year old guy with bad legs and knees, and you're not going to have me doing. I think doing this I guy because yeah, you know, and uh, able to be, because yoga is as much about the mindfulness as the actual postures. I mean, I've I've done the tai chi, and I've done the martial arts stuff, I've done you know all this stuff. But it I sounds don't know. like you're doing you know reasonably well on, you know on your own just with what you're what you're doing. I I try and I try to avoid conflict yeah. as much as I can. Yeah. And. Yeah. I stay away from large, loud groups, mm -hmm. you know. So I still have the same checklist sure. of stuff, but right, right. you know. Yeah. So it'd be you know, don't go to bars, which I don't drink, but right. you know, right. places like clubs, I don't go to clubs because sure. you're just inviting trouble. Yeah. Large groups of people, I don't, I can't even go to the movies most of the time. I still you had, can't. You had just been to the first movie in a long time yeah. to see Halloween. When Saw you last. Yeah. yeah. Have you been to one since? No, I haven't. Okay. You know, I'm kind of. I know that was a rare occurrence. Yeah, I was kind of like, you know, and I know that Toy Story is coming out in the summer, and, mm -hmm. you know, I probably knuckle down and go watch Toy Story. I mean, you know. Uh, you know, other than that, just, you know, I got all this other stuff that's going on, all the medical stuff. Yeah. And that could be somewhat stressful. That would be so much stress. Mm -hmm. yeah. But hopefully all that, you know, checks out okay as far as like you said, the prostate and your, your scopes and um, yeah, repeat violations for the month. Yeah. You know. Other than that, you know, uh, I still take my stuff to go mm -hmm. to sleep with. You know. So the search and the photography and the melatonin, yeah. that's all status quo. Yeah. Um, I don't. I didn't take the the morning stuff because I had to drive here. Okay. So usually I would take that stuff when I get back home. Got it. And you, you know, drive your your housemate to wherever. Yeah, I still do that. And again, I have to wait before I drop them off and come back home to be able to take any of the other stuff because I'd be. Yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty good, dude. I'm like, oh, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. want to, because some of that stuff does cause me a little slight drowsiness, and I don't want to do that while I'm driving. Got it. You know what I mean? Thank God it's only a a short, you know, like twenty minute trip, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Any side effects except for the drowsiness? Uh, you know, the dry throat, but that's like no big deal. Okay. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. Thank goodness. Oh man, and I got that big thing to drink next week too. Oh, that's right. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not been done in colonoscopy. My wife did. I mean, I'm coming up on the uh, one wife. We do another ten years. So. Really, you're what made it to fifty? No, they say about. Oh, okay. So, they say you usually start at fifty. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. And they went from the from forty for the prostate thing to fifty now. Mm -hmm. So right. you don't need that. My doctor did want to do it last time. So oh. That's that's okay with me. Yeah. So they don't even they don't even buy you dinner first. They just <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, you know, let's lower the lights, put some candle light, you know, candles on, some music, and uh, you have no idea how many times I've been violated. It's unbelievable amount of times. I, even on my last deployment, I had four. Oh my god. Four. Yeah. That's a lot. Yep. Because uh, they said, oh, we've got to mark it off. You have to do it again. And I'm like, really? Kidding. And then a week later, they're like, uh. Need to pick up your medical stuff and go back. I said, "What happened? Yeah, you missed a station." So I go on there. Oh, what's going? Oh, you didn't get your digit. What are you talking about? I just here a week ago. Yeah. Where's the doc? The other doctor? He, no, he's yeah. not here. And then he had to do it again. Wow, four of them. Oh, yeah. so much. <laughs> well, so I guess we should keep your medication the same as they are. It sounds like, right? No. Yeah, no, it seems like they're, they're about the same. The yeah. trick. Anything else fun to discuss for today? No, that's that's it. I don't have any thoughts of shooting myself or anything like that. Good. I'm trying yeah. to, yeah. you know, so just you, trying to keep my temperament cool. But other than that, you know. Cool. You drove down from Highland Park. Yeah, it's just right up the road here. Just right up the. the just be careful on the 110 in the rain. I don't know if you took the 110. I did. Just be careful in the rain. Oh that, yeah. That's terrible, terrible freeway. <laughs>
when it's wet, especially when it's wet. Uh, all right, so how soon do you want to